everybody, welcome to Workout of the Week. My name is Eunice and I'm part of the Fitness and Wellness Center. Um, today we're going to be doing a high intensity interval training workout. High intensity training is great because it's a great way to vary up your workout, keeps your heart rate high, and it also burns a lot of calories. For your workout today, we're going to need a stability ball, dumbbells, water, and some towel. We're also going to be doing our workout for 50 seconds and then we're going to take a 10 second break. <laughs> So our first exercise is what we're going to do is a single leg deadlift. You're going to need two dumbbells for this exercise. Eunice will demonstrate for you. So she's going to keep that foot that she goes down a little bit bent in the knees, but not completely straight. Good work. Keeping that back flat as well. So as you see from a side angle, you can see that back is straight. There's somewhat of a bend in the knee. Good. She goes straight down. And then straight back up. Keeping that head in line with that spine. Good. Nice and controlled down. And then back up. Okay, we're gonna do that same exact, exact exercise, but we're gonna switch legs. So the one that did not do work or the one that was in the air is actually gonna be the, the one on the floor this time. Go ahead, keeping that leg straight, chest in line, or that spine. Good. Make sure that you're taking an inhale in and exhale out as you come up. Good work. As you can see, again, from the side, her whole body is in one position or one line. Keep it up. Really keeping that mat straight. Nice work, guys. And you guys at home. Good. Breathing in. Out. Good. Alternating lunges is her next one. She can use the weight or if she can set them off to the side if she doesn't want to. If you have knee issues, I would recommend not using weight. Good. So it's a jumping lunge. She's gonna keep that knee at a 90 degree or a 90 degree angle. A modification for this exercise: if you do have knee issues or if your um, hips are hurting or your knees are hurting, you can always go into the stepping back position. Good. See how her knee stays over top of her toes, or knees stay over top of her ankles. Good. She's gonna go back into those jumping lunges, boosting up that heart rate, making it a little bit more tougher. Good. The upper body stays right over top. Good. Keep it up. Push, push, push. Good. A couple more seconds. Her next exercise is going to be a Superman on top of a stability ball. So her belly button's going to go right over top there. Her right arm, left leg lifts up. So she's going to be contracting her lower back. Good. So the arm that's not working and the foot that's not working is going to be um, on the ground to get her support. Good. Good. Contract. Her neck stays in line with her spine. Contracting that lower back. Really squeezing up on the way up. And slowly going on down. Good. Her next exercise is going to be the same exact movements, but she's going to work on the other side of her body. So we're engaging that core now. Um, She's gonna have a straight back. The right arm touches those right toes or those left toes. Good. Staying on one side. Right arm, left leg the entire time. So her shoulder blade should be on the um, stability ball. A modification for this exercise is keeping the knee bent as you come on up. So you decrease that range of motion. Good. 
as you go through this workout, making sure that you're taking rest as you need them or grabbing water. Good, keep it up. Really challenge yourself. Touching those toes, that foot stays flat. Good, we're gonna switch sides to her left arm and her right leg go this time. As you see, you can use a um, hand that's not being used in the exercise on the floor to keep her from moving her falling off that ball. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, she can keep that foot off the floor the entire time. Nice. Good. Come on, Eunice, you got this. seconds. The push-up is next, so what we're going to do, we're going to throw that ball off to the side. One more time. We're going to go down three seconds, and then up one. So as I'll demonstrate, three, two, one, shoots back up. Three, two, one, shoots back up. A modification for this, if you cannot do a push-up, is dropping simply down to your knees. So you're decreasing that weight on the upper body. Good. Arms are right underneath that chest. Good. So three, two, one, push it up. Good, you're looking at the floor. So that next stays in line with the spine. Good work, push. Challenging, you can tap up onto one toe or one foot. Good. Our next exercise is going to be a bird dog exercise movement. So we're going to stand on one side for the first minute and then we'll switch sides to the second minute. So her right arm reaches out, left foot comes in. Good. So to increase that range of motion, you can bring the elbow into the knee. As you extend, you come on up and touch your middle. Good. Reaching up, opening up that chest. Good. Make sure you're working on that core as you come in and you exhale. Or as you come out, you're working on that lower back. Good. Making sure that you're squeezing on your way up. Switch sides, so we're going to go left arm, right leg this time. Ready? Go. Good. So she's showing you the easier modification for this exercise. Again, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can bring that elbow into that knee. Our next 
dance exercises, Eunice is then pass the stability ball from her hands to her toes or to her feet in between her ankles. You're going to keep that stability ball off the floor the entire time, engaging that core. Go ahead, you have 50 seconds. Good. Reaching all the way down and then all the way back up above the head. A modification if you don't have a stability ball or if you don't, um, if it's hurting your stomach too much or your back, is simply just placing the stability ball off to the side and using that same hand position and that motion. So you're going to engage in that core as you come coming up. Good. Again, she'll pass the stability ball from the, her hands to her feet in between her ankles, just keeping the hands and feet off the floor the entire time. That concludes our workout for today. Thank you guys for coming and good work Eunice and good work you guys as well. Stay tuned for next week's workout of the week. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them at the bottom of the screen or you can leave them at the bottom of this YouTube. Otherwise, you can subscribe to our videos and you can get posted for next week's workout of the week. Enjoy your week and have a good time.